Hello, hello. Good morning. Music, you are once again being a little over dramatic, but okay. Um Hi! So I'm gonna try doing some playing around with world edit and commands and whatnot today um, in this world, which if you're just dropping by for the first time, Carlisle University is the main setting for um, a novel I'm working on and I decided to build the world literally in Minecraft. That village over there will at some point become the uh, nearby college town. We've so far got three dorms and one classroom slash office building that needs some more work done on the exterior. It's had very little done on the interior um, because when I played copy paste with those, uh, that didn't go so well. And I tried to stick with things that are as much blocks as possible. Um, and nothing to the best of my knowledge that is an entity. Um, I'm not sure where trapdoors fall in that. But one of the things I do need to do is a little more to the roof because there should be actually not only here but also on the dorms some kind of ventilation system. Um, so no, that's safe top bars. I want workstations. Fine. Um, let's try blast furnaces. Um, what else might work? Last furnaces. Uh, I wish at I wish there was just a workstation tab, because most of it's not redstoney stuff. Um. And of course, things look different in this texture pack, which is uh, Mizuno's. Actually, let me make sure, because I don't know that I turned that timer back on. I did not. Let's turn that timer on. Um, I don't think kelp blocks are going to be helpful for this, but who knows. What even is that? That is a purple pillar. Okay. Interesting. That's all the stained glass. Um. I mean, cyan terracotta is typically really useful for this stuff. But I don't know that it's going to be specifically for this and not in this texture pack. Yeah, no. Not at all. How's this look in this texture pack? Okay. That's all right. Um... The other thing would be iron trap door. Uh, 
And not gonna lie, I saw this or something like it on some other build somewhere. And thought, yeah, that that is really obvious. Why didn't I think of that before? Um I think I think that works. Alright. And There should probably be at least three of these on a building this size. Um, if anybody watching happens to know anything about HVAC and whether that makes sense, feel free to let me know in the chat or in the comments if you're watching the VOD. But that seems reasonable. sure what else should be up here but these other buildings should probably also have some sort of ventilation too so let's do something about that I do like that one two three placement this slightly smaller building, although it's one that people are actually living in as opposed to working and attending class in. Perhaps that is... Oh, plus it's got... Ooh. Well, no. The laundry would have to have its own vent system of some sort. The laundry in the basement that I have not dealt with yet. Which has a scene that, that is important for it. Um, so that that is a thing that I will have to deal with at some point. But we're not there yet. Okay, so the next thing is, where are we going to put another building? Um, another academic building. Pig, you may want to find an elsewhere to be. Uh, okay. Now, this is where I'm going to wish I had taken some better notes. But, well, what the heck. Now, I can't just go to this block because... height on that. What's the height on this? This is Y97. And what's this? Y96. Okay. Now, slash slash copy. I just did. Oh, for goodness sake. Really? Grr. 
Right, I can't do it that way. Uh, yes! I have spent a good chunk of... This morning watching World Edit tutorials and now can't remember anything. That did not appear to do anything. Okay. I just made one. Oh, good grief. All right. So, forget the wand. And let's just look at coordinates. So we want from negative 37, 77, to 12, to Negative 63, 96, 249. Okay. Now I need to go stand by the front door. So I did manage to internalize that much. You should be standing in reference to the building where you want to be or weird things will happen. Slash slash copy. Negative 37. 77. 212. Negative 63. 96. 249. Too many arguments. Really? Okay. No. I'm so confused. Okay. Please hold.
chap skin. Hit it. This is. I am very annoyed with myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. Left click for first position. Right click for second position. Why, why is it because it's already in there? Okay, good. Now, let's come right about, I don't know, here. Just up. Right. I didn't rotate. Okay. Um. Does the rotation, well, I guess we'll find out. What? Yeah. Oh, pat, paste, rotate 90. No, okay. Maybe because I undid it, undid everything. Okay, centered.
Okay. Okay, so you have to rotate it on the clipboard first. Um, this is not at all what I intended to do. Um, that's, no. Yeah. Let's try rotate negative 90. Okay. That brought it back to there. Right. Let's rotate it another negative 90. There we go. Okay. Now not, that, that's not perfect by any means. Among other things, we have some weirdness that needs cleaning up here. Oh yeah, I meant to install Fast Leaf Decay. Oops. Now let's get rid of this. And this. And let's see. Those will decay on their own. That should probably just get gone. take this whole level down. Yes, and I have clearly created a cave and or just plunked down on top of one. Now, at some point, I will work on learning brushes, which would make the terraforming very much easier. But for now, obviously, we're still in super basic learning mode. That's all fine. I don't know, do I want to fill this in? I do want to at least do that. Uh, probably. moment when you've forgotten that you're not flying. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, we can't have that, that close to the door. Um, and also, should probably just take this one down too while I'm at it. Definitely need to remember to add that uh, vanilla tweak. For the next time I play in this world. This fast leaf decay is life changing. And so far, Stream Elements is the only one in chat, but it looks like there are a few other people here, so hello and welcome. Um, I'm not sure at what point you arrived, possibly in the middle of me going to look up the exact tutorials I had watched earlier today to figure out why I was messing up copy pasting in world edit um, but I'll give the quick rundown of what I'm doing here um, this is Carlisle University the Carlisle University in Carlisle, Connecticut. Neither of these things actually exist, um, but this is the world in which the novel I'm working on takes place. And I decided to try building the world literally in Minecraft, partly because I am not great with description or with blocking. Um, so any help I can get with either of those things is probably a good idea. I'm also taking this opportunity to learn world edit, uh, slowly and painfully. <laughs> Last time I streamed this world, I was not using world edit at all because I didn't want to stop stream to go look up tutorials. And I decided, you know what? That was short-sighted of me. Go, go stop stream and look up the tutorials because this is literally how I'm gonna learn. Um, all right. So now we have two administrative slash classroom buildings let's see what the inside of this looks like um, when I had originally started with the dorms um, and copy pasted those and there's still leaves here really um, a whole bunch of stuff went wrong um, different stuff than what just went wrong now uh, so I don't have any entities in here and I have very minimal detailing basically everything that I did was strictly for the purpose of figuring out how much space I needed for things but it looks like they all came along um, more offices over this side I think oh Oh, well, but no, once I had the size, I didn't necessarily put all the stuff in. And then classroom. And classroom. Yep. And super annoying stairway of annoyingness. Seriously, at some point, I just need to do nothing but play around with stairwells because they're annoying. Like this. This should not be a thing. But it is. And I hate it. Um, okay. 
And then on the roof, well, actually, I can get to the roof from here, right? Because this go should go up into the little maintenance hut thingy. And trapdoors made it just fine. Okay. And so did workstations. Well, I figured the workstations would. Because um, blast furnaces are full blocks. But um, I wasn't sure about the trapdoors. Because trapdoors are not. Um, I don't think they're considered entities. But they're not full blocks. And same with doors. Because like doors didn't always... They didn't 100% copy over um, when I did the dorm buildings. So I didn't trust doors and I wasn't sure whether to trust trap doors. Um, interestingly, I don't remember trap doors being a problem, come to think of it, because there are a lot of trap doors in the dorms. Um, cause I, I used them for making the, who's even what's it, the, um, closets and the bathrooms and oh right that's that's something I'm gonna have to come back with a brush and and work on um, but we are not playing with brushes today because we are just about barely accomplishing copy paste today uh, there's some more that needs to go um, stream elements I thought I had put in some like limiters so that you wouldn't be just spewing timers if nobody's chatting. Did, did that not happen? too much more here. I do need to do something about this. Something like that. Still a little too regular, but again, when I when I come back to play with brushes, I can smooth some of that out. Okay. One of the interesting things has been trying to figure out what makes sense to do as far as um, windows. Because like this whole expanse looks terrible being so blank. So does this. But I don't think it works to add more windows. Um, I could probably put some there. Is this different? Uh, because I can't count, apparently. Okay. 
that's a little better. And then for the lengthwise part, there is actually no good reason not to have more in here. So I've got one, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, three, four, two. Okay. I don't know why it's spaced out like that. Would it not make slightly more sense to do this? Do the same over here. One, two, three. Oop. Okay. Uh, this is the back of the classroom. I'm deciding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can either do two. Yeah, let's do two and two. Okay. Go across the hall. And again, we're just going to make an executive decision that that's the front of the classroom because otherwise this just looks awful. Um, let's go downstairs and outside and see how that looks. All right, that looks a bit better. I think I have more to do here. What? I'm getting so disoriented. Okay. That was the second floor. Right. Yes, that looks better. What can I do about the office space down here? Not a whole lot. Unless I just decide to. We're just we're just doing that. Because the outside looks horrible otherwise. Uh, same for the space behind the file cabinets. Who says you can't? lock in a window with file cabinets if it keeps the outside from looking horrible. classroom and this classroom dealt with and now we need to oh I just made this floor all classrooms okay didn't remember that but all right why is that a thing Is that just a weird copy paste error or did I actually have it like that in the other building for some unknown reason?
Okay. Uh, okay. Where's my stairway? That looks much better. It still needs detailing and that classroom still needs fixing. So the classroom down this end. Come on. On the top floor. Yeah, I missed this one. Okay. I think I was thinking I couldn't do anything with these walls because that's where like a whiteboard could be, but there's no reason it has to be. The, the whiteboard and stuff can be down this end. Okay. And now I really am curious about the other, the original building. Why don't those line up? Questions you probably shouldn't ask, but kind of can't help it. That looks like it's no, that's not office. That's that's classroom. And so is that. So they should line up. And the first and third floor do. Just not the second floor. Why? What did I do? I mean, it's interesting looking, but interesting in a who messed this up kind of a way. Yeah. Wait. What? That looks even stupider. Oh my. side things look like they make a lot more sense and where things are different is where there are offices and that's fine now let's come inside this one which needs work now um yeah i think the first floor is okay but let's get up here and deal with these. Okay. And I had already done that in this one. And that. Okay. All right. Three, three, okay. 
There we go. And then back here. It's two and two. Music, you are way too intense. We are we are putting windows in a building, not going up against the big bad of all time. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And that's all good. Yep. Okay. Apparently that was in this original, so at least I know I didn't somehow manage to screw up the copy-paste command such that I was copying blocks that weren't there. Like, I don't even know how it would be possible to do that. Okay. All right, there should probably be more industrial nonsense on the roof. Like maybe I need to split the difference and add more vents here. But I don't wanna just spam vents all over the place either. But maybe that just would make more sense. these buildings are huge so why is this one so far over Between these is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So half that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, That does look a little more evenly spaced and in a way that probably does make sense in terms of how the inside of the building is being ventilated. Am I creating actual ventilation shafts? No, this novel is not leverage or anything like it. Nobody's crawling through vents. So it's also not among us. So we're, we're not dealing with that level of ventiness. Why is this so far over? Grr. Okay. 
two, three, four, five. Bleh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I think this is sufficient. Okay. I don't like how the proportions of this building end up looking. Ooh, first floor needs more windows. Badly. Did I, I didn't put them in the uh, offices, right. And then that's a classroom on the other side of that. Okay. Hello, cow. All right. This is looking a tad too uniform. So we'll have to do something about that. Strictly administrative building or a library. Library sounds more fun. Um, all right, and I can try another world edit command for that. Um, It should probably be here. Um, all right, if I go from here. going to be a little weird no matter what. Okay. Um. 
Um, dude, you might not want to be standing there. Uh, slash slash fill air. No. Uh huh. Okay. No. No. Wait. That because that's world edit. I want just the regular. Um. Negative eight, 72, 255, so negative 23, 87, 314, Minecraft Air. Um, Replace, cube outline, hollow, destroy, replace. Okay. Oh, it actually did not kill the wandering trader, shockingly enough. Okay. But it did level that. The rest of this I can just punch out a bit. I guess I just didn't go far enough back and far enough down. Alright, well, yeah, we don't care about the cave. doing there, but it didn't work. How about I get myself another pause one and pause two. Slash fill seven sixty nine two fifty eight through negative seven eighty one.
311. Minecraft Air. Place. Okay, that's better. And then let's go here to here. Negative eight seventy two fifty nine. So negative twenty three seventy one three twelve. Minecraft Air Replace. Okay. I think I still want to... be a gradual incline so I actually didn't have to fill all of that with air Yes, I could probably do some fill and replace here, but I also kind of want to just think about what shape this building is going to take as I'm clearing out space for it. This sort of thing kind of helps with that. Okay, that better have been in the music because we're in peaceful mode here, so I should not actually have been hearing a skeleton. I'm used to hearing Enderman noises and even Creeper noises in the music, but I hadn't noticed skeleton noises before. trader even if you had everything cool I don't need it 
Why, why do you spawn in in creative? Why? Why is that a thing? often a building that looks quite a bit different than the other buildings on a campus and other times it's not um, other than usually being a different scale um, typically in terms of numbers of floors Now, one of the things that has made the scale difficult with these buildings is having different internal and external walls and different floors versus ceilings. That thickens everything up. Doubles your walls, doubles your floors. Am I going to do that or am I not going to do that with this library? Don't necessarily need to do it at least not as much with a library because there'll be so many bookshelves everywhere. idea for a sort of cylindrical esque building So I hope for the folks who are apparently lurking that this is the sort of chill stream you were hoping for. Uh, it was definitely never going to be anything too exciting. <laughs> That's typically not my specialty in any case. Okay. And remember, folks, if you're doing repetitive motions with your hands, to stretch them every so often. Before you get carpal tunnel, preferably. And if you already have it, be even more diligent about that. Otherwise, it will let you know. Another good reason to use commands rather than filling stuff in by hand. Yeah, how about for this last bit? Okay. 
fill from negative 7 68 scream coming up in 3 2 1 to 6 68 264 Minecraft grass that really because that does not look like I successfully anything to anything what did I do Again. Oh, because I didn't do grass block. But the range still doesn't look right. Okay, from negative 7, 67, 200, to 7, 69, 231, Minecraft, grass, block um sure okay let's try that again Negative seven, sixty-eight, one ninety-nine to seven, sixty-nine, two thirty with Minecraft grass blocks. Better. Uh, nope. Okay. You know what? We're just going to go from here. To here. Uh. Wait, nope. I just did something messed up. Actually, from this one, there's first position. There's the second position. Okay, we'll go to that one. Um, Negative seven, sixty-eight, two thirty-one to seven, sixty-eight, two sixty-four with Minecraft brass block. Okay, and then honestly, I just want all of that to go away. <sighs> Bam. 
anybody who's lurking or watching the VOD knows what the heck I did wrong the first time, please let me know. Because I would have thought it was like I reversed the coordinates or put negative to where I should have positive or something, but it doesn't look like that's what happened. Okay. And let's just go ahead and go back to the stuff I know works. I'd forgotten that's what gravel looks like in this texture pack. It, it, that is one of the other nice things about this texture pack is the way it blends out things like gravel and podzel into the surroundings. Um, I don't know if it does that with sand too. Okay. bring this out further? Probably. And again, the actual terraforming, like the make it look nice part will end up involving brushes later, but clearly I am nowhere near that level. Um, and those who know me from Discord may have heard me talk about watching a lot of Scar and Pearl to try to get a better handle on uh, terraforming. And that's true. I don't know about whether Scar had at some point been more of a creative builder, but I do know that a lot of Pearl's older stuff is all done in creative, so I think her sort of like initial take on what makes terraforming work came from creative, although I don't know whether she used brushes. Um, she is not one of the people I have found tutorials from on stuff like that. Um, but also that doesn't surprise me because she is often more of a do it by hand approach to a lot of things. Um, and really liking to find things out by experimentation, which I can appreciate to, to a great extent. That is how my brain works as well is much better by experimentation. I am, however, with this stuff at a point where it's like, no, I'm going to need at least some 
hand holding clearly. But you know, we've learned some good lessons today. If you're trying to copy paste you and rotate, you do the rotation first and then you paste. Uh, if you are trying to paste grass blocks, you paste grass blocks, not grass, unless you just want a whole lot of seeds everywhere from trying to paste grass into the air. I still don't understand entirely what went wrong there. Like, I understand that part of it. I don't understand why the rectangle went in the wrong direction. Because it doesn't look like I messed up the coordinates. Okay. Now, I have an idea. shape-wise for a way to make the library kind of distinctive. Uh, hmm, let me see. Okay, that's sort of what I was thinking of. Except not. still use iron blocks for material, but let's go with a radius of 11. Okay, well not there. Come 
come over here a little more. Uh, no. Right, and I'm in the middle of it. Cylinder hollow. Right. And then if I do another one from here. Um, that's a little more like what I had in mind. Rounded, but and obviously it is not going to be made of iron blocks. Um, I may want the floor to be different, but not that different. Um, foundation's probably still going to be. to use regular brick. So what else have I got to work with here? It's not going to be wood. That's just going to wear down too easily. It's also certainly not going to be made out of copper. What about like deep slate tiles? That should exist. And let's see how out of place that looks. Uh, 
Um, right. Means I'm going to end up. command for do wandering trader false because <laughs> if so I kind of think I need to use it I do go hang out with the villagers I'm not gonna trade with you why are you even in creative who's gonna trade with you in creative Okay. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit. Uh, nope. What am I doing here? Has it not been enough Minecraft days for you to despawn yet? One of the things I have to say I do like about this texture pack with iron is, I mean, yeah, this is, this is what iron, cast iron looks like. What we typically have in vanilla looks a lot more like stainless steel. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? Of course it is. So fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the entry point. One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right, now let's look for bookshelves. Um, sure what's going to go there, but something. Uh, 
has any library I've ever been in, in a university or otherwise, looked like this? No. Is that going to stop me? Also, no. <laughs> All right. I will say that libraries typically have much taller floors because of the stacks and usually need like some sort of ladder thing to get at the topmost stuff. I don't think I'm going to go higher than this because it's already going to make the outside of the building scale oddly. But you know, it's Minecraft, everything scales oddly. Computer. Okay. Okay. Now, now I ended up dealing with the different ceiling and roof thing this way. That is a thing I could do here as well. Okay. Now, I ended up using what? Calcite for the ceiling and smooth stone for the floor or something like that. Yeah. Calcite makes a good ceiling tile not going to argue with that. So I may, well, while I was looking at it, I could have just grabbed it, couldn't I? And let's grab that while I'm at it. 
the sea lanterns do make good overhead lights too. All right. the difference between I don't know that now that looks even weirder Oh, that tells me I've been on for a while if we're cycling all the way back to the first song on the playlist. Now the other thing, of course, that you have in libraries besides lots of books is study rooms and computers. So that's going to be fun. any second now. Until I figure out what the lighting pattern is going to look like. Now you see why I hadn't bothered putting the doors in yet, because I needed some kind of light. Alright, you come in the door, you can at least have a couple lights right there. Here. 
Okay. And it should probably continue to follow the pattern of the room. There is definitely something wrong with this corner. Okay, goes out two, goes out two. Goes out another two, goes out another two. Goes out one, goes out one. It looks right until it doesn't. So it would follow the pattern the rest of it's doing. But why is that touching a bookshelf when that is not? I think that's what was going on. Okay. I think that fixes it. Okay. It is almost noon. Can I make a floor decision and then just move from there? Uh, something that's, you know, not iron. I do like andesite in this pack. It's not really good floor texture. In fact, especially not with that. But. What does the polish variant look like? It just looks more like deep slate tiles. Okay. Granite's no good. Do I want it to look more like? All right. Let's try this and um, haven't made any decisions about what the school's colors are. 
I'm thinking they might be blue and yellow just to pull something out of thin air. So let's try blue wool for carpet. So if we do this, Okay, and let's do the rest of it. Come on. Come on now. Yeah, hands are definitely getting tired for this. that if I don't want to make this look like the flag of Sweden. What other color would go well with blue? Maybe gray? Light gray? It's probably somebody else's flag. Light gray carpet.
I'm not sure what this is quite marking out other than just sort of an outline of the room. But it'll probably end up dividing up study areas of some kind. Okay, and we're going to need more light, um, so in this center point, do for the moment because it will probably also be table lighting once I start playing with this a little more but I think this is a good basic shell for a library's first floor um, yeah and I think that's gonna be a good stopping point for today so we've had some, you know, mixed bag playing with the uh, world edit. Eventually got this building copy pasted and then, and then made it more the way I wanted it. So that is another lesson learned. Make sure it's what I want before I copy paste it. Uh, rotate before pasting. Pay close attention to your coordinates. Don't paste grass when you mean to paste grass blocks. Yeah, I think those are some good lessons to take away from today. Um, all right. Does still look like we got some lurkers here, so I am going to find somewhere to raid over to to drop you off. Uh, let's see. Well, we got Pixel Riffs playing bingo. Martin in the Little Wood running MCC Island. A uh, bunch of people doing new season starts on various SMPs. Um, you know what? Uh, looks like Super Eloise is just getting started, and I'm not sure how long some of the others have been running. So let's head on over to Super Eloise. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope this has been the sort of chill stream you were looking for this morning. Um, and whatever you are up to, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, and and uh, whether you might be celebrating Canada Day or U.S. Independence Day or whatever um, or nothing at all or just having a weekend um, I hope it is a relaxing one and uh, yeah I'll see you next time bye I think the only time I was semi away for that long